Traders are done trading for the day. Now take a look at uh, four of my trades. These are the only four trades I took today. You can see Facebook, Baidu, Neo, and Baba. And tell you what, I was right about all of them. I went short Baidu, it came down. I went long Facebook, it came up. I went short Baba, it came down. I went short Neo, it came down. So how come, how come I'm losing money? <laughs> look, I'm down five grand. Actually, a little bit, uh, a little bit lower than this, uh, more like three grand or so, because I still have some open uh, trades in the Baba and Baidu and Facebook. But uh, how come I'm losing money? I was right. I was right about all of my trades. So, well, the reason for this is uh, quite simple. It's um, sometimes it's all about timing. So the fact that I was right and I thought Facebook should move higher. My first trade in Facebook was not successful. I moved out. I was the head losing trade. First trade in Baba. I moved out because it moved over the highs and I needed to move somewhere because you never know if it's going to continue. And then it came down, but I reshorted it. I took a new trade, which I did not short again, and therefore NEO was a losing trade. So as you can see, it's sometimes just about timing. In order to succeed in trading, you don't, you don't only need to have the right pick. You also need the right timing. You need to know when to move in. And I was wrong. My timing today was not right. In fact, I was down more than that because, you know, earlier I had... Um, Two more, I mean, I covered some of my loss in BABA. I'm, I, st I still finished in red in BABA. I covered my loss in Facebook and I finished in green because uh, Facebook made a much bigger move to the upside. But um, you can clearly see that um, even though I was right about all of my trades, the timing was wrong. So it's not about uh, not only about the technical formation, not only about reading the market, not only about uh, um, you know choosing the right stocks. It's also about timing. Any questions here? Something you want me to answer? How do you improve in timing? Well, um, you know, uh, I should have been better today. I should have been. I should have read the right, um, I mean, the market direction and the stocks that I was trading better. And sometimes it's not my fault, but uh, um, I need to reflect back on this. I'm not sure about today. But uh, improved timing is all about, uh, you know, reviewing what you have done and then possibly coming out, uh, you know, with, uh, with better timing throughout time. I mean, you, you just learn to time things a little bit better. And you need to take a look at uh, one minute candles, five minute candles. You can improve timing by looking at different time frames. You can improve timing by look at that, looking at market direction. Like if you think that Neo is going to come down like I thought and I had a losing trade and then uh, you don't time it correctly because the market at that point was moving higher and that's why you had uh, you could have had a losing trade. Then you, if you put in everything together, uh, different time frames, uh, market direction, and so on. That's how you can improve timing. But sometimes it's just bad luck. I'm, I'm not saying today it was bad luck, but I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes it's just bad luck. Well, traders, I want to wish you a great weekend. Enjoy the rest um, of the trading session today. <laughs>